and welcome back to art. I hope you guys had a wonderful winter break. Today, we are going to do a quick review of what value is, and we're going to talk about an artist who uses value in their artworks. Then we're going to make an artwork in our art notebooks just like them. Let's go learn and create. Let's review what value is, boys and girls. Remember, value is how light or dark a color or hue is. We call the light colors tints, and that's when you add white to a color to make the color lighter looking. Darker colors are called shades. We add black to a color to make it darker looking. Where can you see or use value in the real world? Rufino Tamayo was born in Oaxaca, Mexico in 1899 and died in Mexico City, Mexico in 1991. Tamayo spent many of his years in New York, New York and was inspired by Picasso, Pablo Picasso's work. Tamayo combined Cubism with his Mexican culture. Cubism allowed Tamayo to use lots of values in his works. This painting is called the Troubadour. What color values do you see? Does he use more tints or more shades? What do you like or dislike about this painting? Let's take a look at one of Rufina Tamayo's artworks. This is called Cabeza Sobre Bandarosa or head on a pink background. It was created in 1984. Pink is a value of red. Is pink a tint or a shade of red? It's a tint because he added white to make the red look lighter. What are some other tints in this artwork? Are there any shades in this artwork? What are the shade values that you see? All right, boys and girls, once you have your supplies, your art notebook, pencil, colors, we're ready to start. Open your book to a blank page, and we are going to first write the title Rufino Tamayo. So R-U-F-I-N-O, and then Tamayo, T-A-M-A-Y-O. Rufino Tamayo. Next, we are going to be drawing our own cabeza or head on our paper. First, get your pencil and we're going to draw a horizontal line going across our paper. So this is going to be our table. Then we're going to draw our head. So we're going to start off with two short vertical lines. Then we're going to do a small curves line out to a small curves line out. Next, we're going to connect these two curved lines. So we're going to go up, curve around, curve down. So now we have our cabeza or our head. What we can do now is we're going to draw our eyes and our nose. So two circles for eyes and a triangle for our nose. So there we have it. If you want to add any other details to your face, you can do that as well. I'm going to continue though. Now that I'm done with my head, my table, my wall, it's time to color. Now pay attention to what we're going to do. The wall right here is going to be a tent. And what is a tent? It's when you have a color plus white. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have a purple, a tint of a purple. So I'm going to lightly put my purple down, very lightly. Try not to get into your 
head. Okay, so I'm going all around it. Then I'm going to take my white and I'm going to go over my purple. Now, because we're doing this on white paper, maybe you aren't, but I am, it's not going to show up as well as a tint, but I'm, it will kind of do it. So in some areas, it's going to work a lot better. And if it still doesn't look light, I can take my purple again and go over it, some of those spaces and fill in those gaps. So now I have a tint background, right? Remember, what is a tint? It's when you add white to a color. So there is my tint wall. Now I'm going to do my table and this is going to be a shade. All right, a shade. And what's a shade? It's when you add black to a color. So I'm gonna do a dark green table. So I'm going to first get my black and very lightly, not putting a lot of pressure down, I'm coloring this whole table black, all right? Not too much pressure, because we don't want it to be super dark. Then I'm gonna get my color. I'm going to just put my green down and you can start to see that the green is turning darker. So now I have a darker shade of green. Awesome. So now I have my tint wall and my shade table. Now if you do not have crayons to mix your colors, but you have a lighter color of like a red, green, blue, orange, yellow, or purple, you can do that as well. Now, I'm just going to color my face in however I want, okay? So I'm gonna have my face be brown. So I'm gonna color this face in brown. You guys can color your faces in however you want. They can be blue, they can be green, yellow, orange. It's whatever you want. There's no right or wrong way to do this. So, coloring my person's face in. Then I'm going to color my person's eyes. I'm gonna have them be green, because why not? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline my person's nose with the red. I'm going to color in the spaces with a blue. All right, so there you go, boys and girls. This is my tints and shades of Rufino Tamayo's artwork. All right, boys and girls, let me tell you what I'm looking for in this assignment. I'm looking for four things. I am looking for the title, Rufino Tamayo. The wall is a tint. Remember, that is a light color. The table is a shade. That is a dark color and a head. You can add more details to this if you'd like, but I am still looking for these four things. The title, the wall is a tint, the table is a shade, and there is a head. I can't wait to see what y'all make. That's the end of my video, boys and girls. I had so much fun teaching you guys about Rufina Tamayo and creating an artwork like him. Next week, we're going to be doing our own value projects, and I can't wait to do them. See you guys next time.